What's up, everybody? Reefer Man Reviews back. Uh, and so is Stargirl on the CW. And what an awesome first episode of Season 2. Um, Stargirl, Summer School. Now, I feel like this show came back fairly strong. I uh, had a few moments where I was like, yeah, whatever. Didn't care. Uh, I saw, oh, man, this is going to be a thing. Um, and then I thought about it as, a, as I watched it the second time in preparation for this video here. And Wildcat, my initial watching of this, this episode, I didn't like her church scene, like the whole, I'm like, ah, this is going to be a thing, huh? Like, And then, like I say, the second time watching it, I said, no, this is going to be a thing, and, and it should be a thing. It should be addressed, you know? Um... I was worried the quality might suffer a little because I'm watching the CW version where last year I was watching the HBO Max version which really doesn't differ much I think there's like a five minute more three to five minutes more in the extended HBO Max whatever I don't know um, I don't have HBO Max this time around um, I don't think yeah, I did watch it on the app. Yep. All right. Anyway, fantastic job with the acting. They're all great. This this brings us to the end of the school year for Courtney and her <clears throat> and her JSA. Uh, and um, you know, they, they're all all the members of JSA are going through this kind of like, what's the point of this right now? Like, why are we doing this? The bad guys are gone and done or dead or whatever. And. Uh, Fantastic job, though. Um, I didn't. I didn't like the scene with Zeke, where. I mean, it must be setting up for something because, why have Zeke involved at all? Like, why? Like, I get okay. Like, hey, I'm the head of this household, and I'm taking my family on a vacation, and I have this business, and, yo, know, hey, man, I need you to look after the shop for a few days, man. Just make sure, whatever, you know, like got a couple of little jobs I need to make sure they're finished for these customers or whatever like first of all you want to plan a vacation plan the vacation don't have a workload that's going to overlap with that you know what I mean that's just kind of I don't know it seemed kind of weird to me like I have a job and I'm gonna go on vacation but work might be in you know, in the way of my vacation, like, the whole point of the vacation is to put the work aside and go and, and, and do your thing, and, uh, and I know from personal experience, recent experience, that, you know, sometimes people don't vacation well and shit, so, you know, sometimes it's really needed, and, and, you know, whatever, this ain't about me. Ah, the whole Zeke thing, like I said, it, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I I don't know. It bothered me. The Green Lantern's daughter showing up was awesome. That fight scene was just freaking fantastic. Fight scene alone was a 10 out of 10. Like, yeah. Some of the ash went through and was like stuck in them. Um, <coughs> gosh darn, what was I saying now? Uh, green, the Green Lantern fight with with Courtney, with Star Girl, fantastic. Ten out of ten, right there. Um, I. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about the ending scene where Homegirl is, uh, I kind of figured it would happen, but, uh, as far as the, 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 the daughter of the villain there, who's in the basement at the end, um, laying out like, gee, I'm gonna recruit these people, and then you see Courtney's little brother there, uh, Mikey, Mike, I think, uh, she puts him down as a yes or whatever, and, I. Uh, uh, I don't like the family drama stuff. Like, 
pitting, pitting them against each other and stuff. I don't know how they're going to get to that point. Uh, saw some reviewers and, and reactors and stuff talking about this and you know one of them's I forget which channel uh, was I might have been blind wave might be wrong not sure but they were saying how how do how are we gonna get there like how is what would put Mike in that position where he'd be like yeah I'll join um, I think he's just gonna keep getting sidelined by his father and and um, you know all of that stuff um, I don't know I just I can't wait for the next episode this one I'm going to have to say I'd probably give about 8.5 or, or 9 out of 10 um, maybe for pacing I think I'd take a little bit off of pacing but um yeah, those are my raw thoughts on uh, Stargirl Episode 1. So yeah, make sure you click like, subscribe, click those notification bells. I thank you kindly. This is Reefer Man Reviews. Later.